Hi, my name is Pastor Charles Williams, and I'm the Amber Alert founder and creator of the concept known all over the world today as just that, the Amber Alert system. I am coming to you here today uh, on this Friday, November the 30th. It's almost over with. Tomorrow is December 1. Um, here we are. We're 44 days away from National Amber Alert Awareness Day. Okay, it's going to be on Sunday, November, Sunday, uh, January the 13th, all day long, okay? Uh, and so we, in, we are encouraging you and we're, we are imploring you to uh, do something with the children that are uh, in your trust uh, on that day. Uh, wherever you are, if there's anything I can do to help, uh, be sure and hit me up at rsprings32 at gmail.com. That's the letter rsprings32 at gmail.com. Uh, and let's make this a great day. Again, as I stated before, our theme for this year from a founder standpoint is education, education, education. Our children have got it in their heads about stranger danger, and I'm glad for that. But now the adults and the caretakers need to get it in their head what to do, what to say to an officer in the event your child becomes missing. Because uh, contrary to popular belief, what you say to an officer in those critical moments matter. They really do. It makes a difference between your child uh, receiving an Amber Alert or your child being placed on page number 367 and given an ID number at the uh, National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, and nobody really knows that your child is, is there. So uh, what you say to an officer is critically important, and that's why uh, I, I keep sharing with people about what's in this book, uh, Faces of the Amber Alert. That information is in this book. You can get it at www.amberstory.com. That's www.amberstory.com, again, because what you says really does matter, okay? Now, uh, I want to share a couple of things here uh, with you. We've got our, our, our fact sheet here. And uh, just, just, just to give you a little bit of why we do what we do and why we're so passionate about doing uh, what, what it is that we do. <clears throat> like I stated in the last video, that uh, it's important. We need the help of churches, uh, 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 particularly in the African American community. We need the uh, we need the help of urban uh, hip hop uh, radio stations that will support us. That will uh, issue an Amber Alert when they are notified that a uh, that an Amber Alert is warranted. Uh, why? Because uh, people have constantly asked me. They say, "Well, why do we see?" Uh, Amber Alerts for more white children than we do for African American children. It's not a race thing. It's not a bias thing. But, but what it is, is that there are more Caucasian media that has signed up to be a part of this uh, volunteer program than the African American community has. So we need uh, station owners, we need station general managers that will step up to the bar. If you have music going into the African American community and any other minority community, uh, if you have music being piped into those communities, then the community uh, should expect you to do something in, when it comes down to uh, helping to protect and to preserve the life of their children. Okay, let me tell you, it, it, it's you don't feel like hip hopping when your child is missing. You don't feel like hip hopping when they tell you that you don't, you know, that that your your child is not going to get an Amber Alert. Okay, no, 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 no. So uh, here's what I want you to do. Okay, I need you to think about your favorite station, which is the one that you listen to the most, and. Uh, Check them out, okay? If they do not issue Amber Alerts, if you can't remember the last time you heard an Amber Alert on your favorite radio station, do me a favor and send me the call letters of that radio station, okay? Um, send me the call letters and the city of that station so that I personally can call and uh, uh, check some things out and invite them to be a part 
of, uh, of, a, of a real community effort, okay? If you're going to serve the community, let's do it, okay? Let's not fake it. Let's not, you know, let's not pretend that we're, that we're serving the community. But, uh, and I'll say this, if you are listening to a station that is serving the urban or the African-American community, and that station does not support the Amber Alert uh, uh, program by the issuing of Amber Alerts, then don't support that radio sponsor. That's all, okay? If they say go to uh, Jack and Jill's Barbecue down the street, don't go to Jack and Jill's Barbecue, okay? And uh, you may stop by there and tell them, hey, I'd love to buy your barbecue, but I can't because the station that I'm listening to won't, uh, you know, don't really help out our community when our kids are missing, okay? And so as a result, what happens is that you have, uh, you have the information about a black child missing being broadcast over in a white community, okay? And nothing is being coming into the black community. So this is why we need the African American or the, the urban radio stations to really step up to the plate and represent our community as I know that they can, okay? And once that happens, then you will see the playing field leveling out to where it is, uh, it, it's, it's more... Um, it, it's more even, if you will, in that. Did you not know? Now, here's some facts from a fact sheet here real quick. Did you know that there are more boys that last year, just last year alone, more boys than girls received Amber Alerts? I know you probably thought it was girls. It's not. More boys than girls received Amber Alerts. What, was the, what would you say was the number one uh, state uh, as it relates to Amber Alerts? Okay? It's California. Okay, California was number one in the issuance of Amber Alerts. 48% of all Amber Alerts last year were for white kids. Okay, 33% 33, 33 of all Amber Alerts last year were for African American kids. And blacks and other minorities, now when you put the blacks and all of the other minorities in there together, uh, then it says that... Um, that 52% of 52 uh, with blacks and all other minorities combined made up of 52% of the Amber Alerts issued last year. Okay? But when you separate them, blacks only make up 33%. So, um, and then a couple other uh, fact, no, uh, facts here is that um, more boys from birth to age 12 were abducted last year. More girls from age 13 to 17. Now, this is if you're a parent, these numbers have got to really be alarming. More girls from ages 13 to 17 were abducted. And uh, we'll be back. We'll, okay. Oh, well, I'm out of time again. Um, my name is Pastor Charles Williams, and I'm the founder and the creator of the concept known all over the world today as the Amber Alert System. And uh, I will be back after we do some more housekeeping uh, things around here and uh, with more of these amazing facts about the Amber Alert. Okay? Thanks and God bless now. Bye-bye.